when we gather here in Peter Maritzburg, we should be conscious that two of the greatest movements on this planet started here. When I stand on this hallowed ground, I can almost feel the anger and pain of Mahatma Gandhi when he was thrown out of the first class rail compartment 125 years ago. He sat in the waiting room, scared and in no mood to talk. But it is at that moment that the greatness of Gandhi came to the fore. He never took the treatment meted out to him personally. He thought beyond himself. As Gandhiji says in his autobiography, and I quote, should I fight for my rights or go back to India? Or should I go on to Pretoria without minding the insults? The hardship to which I was subjected was superficial. Only a symptom of the deep disease of color prejudice. I should try, if possible, to root out the disease and suffer hardship in the process. Mahatma Gandhi started the journey which changed the course of human history. But the contribution of Peter Maritzburg in history did not stop here. On the 5th of August 1962, another tall leader of this country, Nelson Mandela, was arrested by the police barely 25 kilometers from Peter Maritzburg. He was in a car in disguise fighting the bane of apartheid. That day started his 27 years of incarceration, which pricked the conscience of entire humanity and finally led to the release of mankind from the last vestiges of blatant racial discrimination. <laughs>